So, hey what's up, hello guys, it is me, Paige, and today, I can't believe this is going to be my first video in my series for Christmasing with Paige, and if you do not get the title a little, if you don't know, I do cover songs on this channel, and vlogs, and etc, and I'm going to be doing a lot of cover songs this month, so I'm going to combine some of my DIY slash beauty videos into my Christmasing with Paige series so this video is like a DIY Christmas decorations easy hacks or whatever and I hope you guys like this video thumbs up and make sure to comment down below any more ideas I should do for Christmas sing with Paige and vlogmas is coming up soon if you don't know I film everyday vlogs on Friday Saturday and Sunday and I post them on the weekdays on random days so I hope you guys catch up with everything and I love you guys so much and I'll and let's just get started with this video so the first thing I do is make my Christmas tree. So if you don't know if I said this already, um, this video is sponsored by Target. So all of these decorations I bought are from Target from the dollar section and also from the Christmas section. And all of these um, decorations I bought were really inexpensive. So if you can see already, I am kind of struggling right here. I do not know how to like even do a Christmas tree right now. This is not even funny. So enjoy me struggling. Oh my gosh, this is really hard to do. <laughs> By just thinking about it right now. What's your father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace. So really I'd better Please don't hurry. Maybe just a little bit more. Then I just hung up all of my sparkly um light colored pastel decorations and these are like my favorite decorations I saw on Target and I thought they were really cute. And OMG they had a emoji ornament so I bought that and I'm gonna put that on my tree. So this is the finishing touches after I did my tree. So the first DIY is this DIY photo tree. Guys, if you don't remember, if you're one of my subscribers from a long time ago, I made this DIY about a year ago and I'm actually inspired to do this again because I have more pictures and I love this DIY. So what you need for this DIY is 10 photos, double sided tape, and finally scissors. So the first thing I did is go on photos and grab some photos and put them on my desktop. And then I made a template for my Christmas tree so I can hang them on the wall. And I did 5 photos on the bottom which is 10 photos equal and I used 2 photos on the bottom for the end of the tree. And then I just dragged some to Word and I just printed them out. Then after when it printed out, I just started cutting it as perfect as possible. I tried my best to not like take out half of the picture but keep it in a nice rectangle. Now it's time to use the double sided tape. So what I did is that I took some like a small but like long piece of double sided tape and then I just took the piece off and it's that simple and then it's just like regular tape and then you just stick it on the photo and then I just started hanging up my pictures. So this is the finished product when you're done. Now you can just take pictures on Instagram and pictures and be like, try hard much. So the next DIY is these DIY sweater pillows. Now this might sound weird, but I found out this idea because when I was on 
When I was looking for some pillowcases, I couldn't really figure out what to use, but then I looked in my closet and just made my sweaters into pillowcases. Like, what the heck? So, what you need is, is how many sweaters you're going to use. I have two pillows, so I'm going to use two sweaters. And I recommend to use Christmas colors if you're going to make your pillows like Christmas colors. So, I got a green and red sweater, two pillows, which of course you need, and two hair ties are optional. So what you're going to do is first lay out your pillow and then you're just going to grab the sweater you're going to use and then you're going to put this one of your sweater on the end and then you're going to put it over your pillow like simply what I'm doing right now. So when you put the pillow over the sweater, what you're going to do is just leave the ends as is as if you're wearing a sweater and you're just going to put that over so you don't see the white part then what you're going to do is on the side that has the print you're just going to turn that into a knot like a really big bow then you're going to tuck in the extra pieces so it won't be seen anymore and that's what your pillow looks like then you're just going to repeat with the other and I this sweater was kind of really hard to do because I had to use a hair tie because this sweater was really loose and not really like how my sweater I used for the other pillow was so I had to use hair ties and I had to secure it so it won't fall off the pillow. Then this is what your final pillow should look like. Now it's just here me like randomly modeling the pillows like I'm a model for Victoria's Secret or something. Now the next day why is these ornaments in a jar? So what you need is big or small ornaments and a mason jar. So what you do is lay out your mason jar and the wrong way is just stacking all the like ornaments together and then it looks really, 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 really bad and yeah, that's what it looks like in the end. But the right way to do is what you do is take for the large ornaments, you take out the thing where you put like the hook on and then you just take it out and put it in and you just put the bottom and then small stuff on the bottom and just layer it all together with small, big, and medium and it'll actually look really, really cute. So this is what it looks like when you're done. The next DIY is this Tumblr and Pinterest hot cocoa station. So what you need is cute mugs, hot cocoa mix, marshmallows, peppermint bark, which is optional, and decor, which is I need. <laughs> So what I use for my hot cocoa station is this like laundry mat thingy and what I did is first put this um, Santa mug and then I put some of my peppermint shaped marshmallows inside the mug. Then I took this pail that says peppermint bark on it and then of course I put some peppermint bark on it. Then of course I need some hot cocoa but not any kind of hot cocoa, peppermint hot cocoa. And then I got this like cute um, red velvet candle that is red and finally I put this sign that says Merry Christmas on it I got from Target and of course I forgot to get the sweater mug that reminds me of Alicia. So this is what the DIY funny looks like and this is my favorite DIY of all time because this hot cocoa station is near my bedside so this is very convenient. So the final DIY is these Tumblr pictures on a strip. So what you need is... Tumblr pictures, scissors, cute clips, string, and sorry I didn't have this in the clip because I forgot. <laughs> so to get the pictures, you have to go on Google and type in Tumblr, and then you just go on Tumblr and do the specific directions right now. T type in Xmas, not Christmas, because Christmas photos will not pop up, other pictures will. So then I just chose a random like picture website thing on Tumblr, and you can see that Tumblr has a lot of like Christmas photos, so I just chose Xmas presents and then I just went on it and chose a random picture and then I just copy and just copy the image and then I went on Word and pasted it and then what I did is wrap the text on so I can be able to like move the picture and stuff so I chose square and I just moved the picture and then I just printed it out and I just did a couple of pictures, so it can be like a collective of pictures. So after I printed all my pictures, I just had them in a bunch of sheets. And you can see that I added three pictures on one sheet. And then what I did is just cut out all the pictures and try to get them as even as possible and make them all cute and stuff. And I just did my magic and boom, I have all of the pictures already cut it out. So 
what I basically did is just take my Tumblr photo and grab the clip and just hung it on the string. And I didn't really have a clip of where how I hung the string. It's kind of obvious. And then I just hung up all the pictures up individual by individual. And I thought this was going to look like a really weird DIY. But it's actually really cheap and affordable. And this is like my second favorite because I just love Tumblr photos. So when you're done, this is what your DIY is supposed to look like. So I think this is like very Pinterest and Instagram worthy. So and I also hung some of the pictures on the other side of my bed and it actually looks really cute with this like chalkboard banner. So if you can't buy any of these stuff for these DIYs, here's some easy ways to decorate. So what you can do is put some candles out in a nice tower. So what I did is got nectarine green tea, which is a summer scent, but it's cute. Um, buttercream mint, um, spiced wreath, and these Bethany Moda gold candles, which are really cute in Pinterest. And finally, my favorite champagne um, candle. So this is what the Tower of Candles are supposed to look like. So another way to decorate is, is to put these candy canes down in this case. And I think this puts a nice spice. And also, I got these holiday decorated EOS. And I just put those on top of the candy cane box. Another festive way to decorate is to get some garland and some holiday lights and put it together. And then it just makes everything look good. And I put my lights and garland in my bathroom and it really, really nice. Another cute way to decorate your bathroom is to put a mini Christmas tree in it, and I did that and decorated it with some blue ornaments. On my mirror, I also decorated with these um, gel snowman, and they actually look really cute in my bathroom. A very Pinterest way to decorate your room is to get a wreath and then just hang a sign that says blah 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 days till Christmas, and I just put 41 days till Christmas. A huge way to decorate your room is just change your sheets. And I just changed my sheets into these snowman ones. And let's just take a moment right now and just see this clip. Kumbaya, kumbaya. You might thought where I got that. So I just snapped my sheets on my bed like usual. And my bed actually looks really festive right now. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below any more video. Um, ideas for um, for Christmas thing with Paige and I will see you guys next time next time and vlogmas is coming up soon and also I am posting everyday vlogs I if you do not know I'm posting everyday vlogs my week I post um, usually on Friday and Sunday so I'll see you guys on Friday and bye Last Christmas, I gave you my heart.